is Alicia Burton. I'm here to do um, random talk. I'm going to be talking about a lot of things. So, yeah. So, I'm going to be talking about some stores in my hometown that kind of piss me off. So, first, we're going to start with Walmart. So, we can say this is random talk. So, let me start with Walmart. Um, I know, um, start, um, I live in Star from Mississippi and... There's a lot of things, he, a lot of stories here that kind of will piss me off. And I'm going to be talking about three stores. Walmart, Kato's, and um, Walmart, Kato's, and Walmart, Kato's, and Dollar Tree. There we go. Now, I want to start with Walmart because it's the reason why I want to start with them. Walmart is my favorite place to go to get my hair coloring and stuff like that. And um, one of the things for the past few weeks I have noticed when you go in the daytime, if you go between, and I'm just saying, between 12 and, between 12 and 2.30 at Walmart in my hometown, you will um have to go. This is what happened. Um, we have the pharmacy in, and you have the food in. So the food in, the cash registers are open, and the self checkout is open. Okay, they just got the self checkout open down by the pharmacy. Down by the pharmacy, and. I just feel like, why would you do that? Just have one end that has cashiers check out. And then, um, and especially if they do that on a weekend, that's a congested part and you got to get in. All right. That was one. I don't like that. And number two, oh, my Walmart, they're going through a changeover in the intimate section. Instead of the long way shelving, they are now finally doing that shelving. I'm, I'm going, okay, it's pretty cool, but they could take the whole weekend, take that Friday Friday night, Saturday, um, take uh, Friday night, Friday, Friday night, Saturday morning, Saturday evening, to that Saturday morning, Sunday morning, and that Sunday, I mean, take those um those days and try to get that already done for it won't be so congested and people who's coming in looking for a certain in, un, um underwear or intimates, it won't be confusing to them. So to me, I just like, I really needed socks and then now they just did that. Boom. All right. All right, they're keeping the sleepwear the same way. I get that. Boo hoo hoo hoo. I don't care about that. But I mean, yeah. So that's Walmart. And so let me start with Kato's. Um, I get a call probably about yes earlier this morning about ten thirty. It's one of the ladies. It's the manager manager at the store. This is a lady who knows me and my mom and. Stuff and she goes, Can I speak to Alicia? I said, This is she. She goes, Hey, it's um, so and so and so at the at Kato's and Starful. I said, Oh, hey, how you doing? She goes, Alicia, I just wanted to let you know we got some new stuff and and I just thought you might should know. She knows that I do YouTube videos and I actually do actually help promote. I just do it my own self, just help promote them and stuff. And because the reason I help promote them is because that's my story. Like I always say, um, that's my story that I always shopped at. And I don't mind using my own hard money, go and purchase something to help promote the show, promote their store, or promote Kato's with... My YouTube channel, I am not an ambassador. Let me just say this. I am not an ambassador for them. It's just something I am going to do, regardlessly. So, she was considerate of, to do that for to me. I told her I won't be in, but I will promise, I promised her I'll come in the beginning of February. And she knows that. 
So that's that. But the reason I love Kato's, but it's the assistant manager there. Um, that's, she's this little short, bright-skinned woman and stuff. And I can tell y'all, it was, I'm, she has got, has, she gave me a bad taste in my mouth this past year. And I can recall, I was, um, ready to check out and I put my stuff on the counter and she goes, uh, wait, um, she was here first. You don't get nasty with your customer. That's one. Don't forget, customer is always right. That's one. You don't get rude to the customer, and the customer always right. So when I left, I felt like, in my stomach, felt disrespected. So I waited till I got home. I called, and I said, can I speak to the manager? Oh, she knew my voice. She said, oh, she's not here. I said, can I speak to a supervisor? Okay, the girl who I've been knowing for years was promoted to supervisor. Told her, she said, oh, wait, she knew who I could call. So she, like, hung up on me during the first call. I was not too happy about that. I'm going to say this, y'all. A call back, and it was the other, um, not the manager manager. It was one of the employees. She took my name and my number. I told her to tell the manager to call me. I said, the bright-skinned, tall one. So they knew who I was talking. So she, a day later, called me. And I told her, and she said, I said, you're, I don't know if she's your assistant manager or what, but um, she was so rude to me. She, I said, I was rude. I was disrespected and this, um, she was very rude. And when she, when I described the woman to her, she said, oh, that's our assistant manager. So I told, let her know, hey, this girl was very disrespectful to me. And I said, the lady was to the side and I came up to the counter. And I want y'all point of view of that. This happened last year and I just didn't do it. If you came up to the counter and somebody was over to the side just looking at jury and you came up to the side and she disrespectfully said oh wait um she was next okay you need to wait and she was disrespectful to you what would you do that's that story that's the second story now the one story i want to talk about is my dollar tree in my home state i have did a rant about this once before now the reason i'm doing this rant is i'm going to tell y'all this I've been, I have been, like I said, I've been doing DIY projects. I, I just fully want to get everything fully complete before I show to y'all because I'm going to be doing, a, I have a lot of stuff this summer. I'm going to try to DIY. I have projects um, I'm going to be trying to do myself because I just feel like I probably could do it. And, um, I probably will show y'all afterwards so that's that but i've been going back and forth in things and stuff and i finally got my stuff complete finally getting stuff complete but i have one set i won't be getting complete and i'm trying to figure out what i'm going to do with them and um so we're gonna have to i'm gonna see what my sister what she thinks i should do because i always value value my sister um uh, opinion but anyway um i've been up there probably about three times and every time y'all know the little um square mirror the square mirror um centerpiece um plate i go i was going back to get some more of those and every time i go back they do not have any and y'all I mean, that has been pissing me off like heck. And I just, and they said, oh, you can go on the website and order it. Even though I could go on your website and order it, you should at least have some in, in the store. What, y'all have a limited amount per month you can have in the store? That's, that's bull to me. And I have been up there several times, and I said, 
said, okay, if I have to go, I will. But no, I, like I said, I got, I will tell y'all, it's like, you can find things that you will like. That's one. All right. The one thing uh, that is a very, to speed up with the last bit with this, all right, my very, very pet peeve with Dollar Tree in my home state. They have, when you go to the makeup section, it's the same crap every month. They don't have no new stuff. Let me just say that. No, no new stuff at all. And what I have come to realize that they are not going to get new stuff in. I remember back when they was on this up another place where they was at, that they will have new newer stuff. They will have Revlon in there. They will have Rumble in London, CoverGirl, Milani. I mean, they will have that, but now they don't have that. And I just wish Dollar Tree, whatever you put, like, let's say whatever you put in the Dollar Tree in Alabama, Tennessee, Texas, New Orleans, should also be in Mississippi. So, I mean, if you're going to put whatever you put up in there, at least in the Mississippi Dollar Trees, you put the same stuff up in there. And um, that's all I have to say about that. But I will come and do a rant about Family Dollar and I got a lot to say about that. But until then, y'all, I'm Alicia Burton. Don't forget to thumbs up this video, comment below, and subscribe!